We have discussed the problem with the concept of how mainstream see white dwarfs evolving and also how they measure the age of these stars. In a new image published by astronomers, they have found a white dwarf star which has a gas giant 10 times its size orbiting very close to the star. And this breaks their model of how white dwarf stars evolve. Let's explore this in more depth. In mainstream astronomy, stars evolve along a set path. This concept holds that main sequence stars will go into a red giant phase once they've used up their primary source of fuel. This causes the star to expand and swallow any planets nearby. At the end of its life, it then ejects its outer layers, and as this expands outwards, any objects in its path are usually incinerated, leaving behind a white dwarf star. This means that any planet that survived would have to be much further out from this star. So when NASA imaged the white dwarf star WD 1856, they were shocked to find a large gas giant orbiting very close to this star. The gas giant is thought to be 10 times larger than the star itself. And this presents a problem for their model. What is a little odd here is that normally it is thought that this process pulls apart most of the material and forms a debris disk around the star. It is not thought possible that material could migrate inwards and still remain intact. So the way they attempt to explain this is that there must have been other Jupiter-sized bodies in close orbit to this planet, and that the gravitational influence of these objects could then allow an instability to develop, allowing this planet to be knocked inwards. Other possible scenarios that they speculate on include a gravitational tug from the two stars in the system, which are both red dwarfs, over billions of years, and a flyby from a rogue star perturbing the system. So let's break this down a little bit. First, I think it is important to examine the whole system. This is thought to be a triple star system consisting of two red giants and a white dwarf star. Now they are about 80 light years away from us and are situated in the northern constellation of Draco. They believe that the white dwarf star is around 10 billion years old, making it one of the oldest ones we have looked at. We have previously discussed the problem with how they age white dwarf stars when we looked at the impossible white dwarf. In essence, they determine its age simply by its mass, believing that its mass will slowly decrease over time. The problem is that they have been finding lighter and lighter white dwarf stars that will make them older than their definition of the age of the universe. In the mainstream model, the white dwarf star is essentially the core of the star. This is an incredibly dense ball of glowing material which will cool slowly over time. This means it must have a very strong gravitational field. Placing a gas giant in such close proximity to the star would mean that the material from this gas giant is stripped off and should fall onto the surface of the star, causing sporadic outbursts. But this is not observed at all, which would suggest that white dwarf stars are not super dense objects left to cool in the universe. Also, where is the ejected material from this event? And the event that I'm referring to is the red giant ejecting its shell. Surely this would leave something like an expanding shell or nebula visible to some extent and should have a dimming effect on the star and its companion. And it's not like this star is a long distance away from us, it is a mere 80 light years away. Returning to the system, we see that the two red giants have very similar magnitudes of 12.0242 and 12.1099. And this compares to the white dwarf star, which has a magnitude of between 17 and 15. And here, lower numbers mean brighter stars. Finding a triple system to me indicates that some stressing event caused the initial star to fission, splitting into three. Two parts would be almost equally divided, and the third possibly being smaller. The current was divided primarily across the two larger and much less to the smaller one. It is also possible that it initially only split into two and a later event caused one of the stars to eject a smaller companion and this may account for the difference in magnitude between the two red giant stars. So how can we explain both a red giant and a white dwarf inside the same system? Red giants are thought to be electron deficient and attempt to increase their surface area to capture more electrons. 
This is a balance between the incoming current and the inflowing electrons. A white dwarf star is one where the incoming current has significantly decreased, meaning the tufts become less pronounced and the photosphere starts to shrink. This means the output of the star is greatly reduced, but the star itself remains hot. The white discharge of the corona now reaches down to the photosphere. There is no imbalance between the incoming electrons and the incoming current here. The fact that this is a triple star system suggests that there have been periods of large variability in the incoming current. This variability may have caused the initial splitting of the main star into two or maybe three. A later change to the incoming current may have impacted the white dwarf star more compared to the red giant stars, causing it to eject material. This material may then have formed the companion gas giant, which is in close proximity to the star. So why is it 10 times larger than the star itself? In this model, the star is held together by strong electrical forces. The gas giant would not be exposed to these forces and would not be receiving an incoming current. So its density would be very different from that of the star and would therefore cause it to expand relative to the star. Finding multiple star systems is not unusual. Finding stars that seem to undergo rapid changes from one type to another is something that we have covered in the Electric Star Evolution episode. We even saw examples of stars that seem to have developed a companion almost overnight. Stars are electric and undergo rapid changes. Gas giants are born from stars under electrical stress. They start close to the companion and may migrate further out over time. By examining these multiple star systems, we may be able to find more clues to stars' electric nature and the changes that they undergo. As always, be brave, be curious, the truth is waiting for us. Until next time.